Hi there. How convenient. Uh, welcome to another episode of the Okanagan Gardener and Forager channel. Uh, typically in my videos I try to make them about things like uh, you know promoting life and healthy things and things of that nature and I think this one is still something healthy but today uh, I'm making a video about well destroying things aphids aphids are in my garden they're on my plum tree and there are other videos out there there's lots of different methods talking about what to do I'm going to show a few that I will use and uh, the aphids didn't I didn't start this fight the aphids did so I'm going to take the fight to them Okay, these are the things I'm going to use. The Vaseline or the petroleum jelly, I'll explain later. 70% isopropyl alcohol. Some dish soap. Water. I'm taking the isopropyl alcohol and I'm just going to mix it with water. One to one. So I'm just equal parts. 100 mils of water, or sorry, 100 mils of the rubbing alcohol, 100 mils of water, and I'm just going to use, there's not much here, I'm just going to use half a teaspoon of some soap. spray bottle I'm ready to go to war with aphids aphids those little rascals You can, if you're paying, uh, one thing I like to do with hand watering, when you hand water you see your plants. So, you spend time out in the garden looking at them. If you see ants, if you see ants that might, that often indicates you've got aphids. And you gotta look at the underside of the leaves a lot of the time to see them. That's where they can get the sap. Ugh. So. I had cleared them out before, but they've come back. So, the boys and I, we're gonna try to take care of them. Here's one method to start with. Totally organic, find the aphids and... Wash them off. Kill them by hand. Adam, are you getting them? It's a little gross, but it's effective. Ah. Step two in the totally organic battle against aphids, cr combined with crushing them by hand, blasting them. Give them a good blast with water and it'll knock a lot of them off. Now taking Taking the soapy mix that we that I made, Axel's going to blast the aphids. Go ahead, soak them lots. Everywhere where you see them. I'm doing this because it uh, I didn't stay on top of the aphid attack as much as I should have, so we're taking it to the next level. This is the isopropyl alcohol, water, and dish soap combination. The third phase of our total war with aphids. The ants are their protectors. And the ants go up and down, bringing them up or going back down, collecting the sugar, bringing it to their nest. So, this is where the Vaseline comes in spread some. I tried some before and uh, it kind of wore off so I'm putting some more on. The Vaseline 
acts as a barrier for the ants. So the ones that are up there will hopefully die and then more will not be able to make it to the tree, up the tree. There's one of those little rascals right now. Yep, you can spray them. Get them, ladybugs. So there you have it. Some techniques that I use to take care of aphids. First, just look for them, crush them with your hands. Then you could spray them off with the hose too. Uh, take it to the next level. I combined isopropyl alcohol and water and dish soap to spray them. And then the other thing I did was I put some petroleum jelly, Vaseline on the stem to cut off the ants, uh, the ants route of travel down, down and off the tree. Uh, and I found, we found ladybugs on the tree, which was fantastic because the ladybugs will fight the aphids too. So the Hopefully the, the barrier on the stem cuts off the uh, reinforcements for the ants, so the ones that are up there will die off and then uh, no more will come and we'll, uh, I think, we can, we'll be able to declare victory over the aphids. Thanks to my helpers who helped me take the fight to the aphids today. And uh, if you like the video then give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.